So Seijun is going to be coming to Genshin Impact really soon and she's going to appear in this character event wish banner with coming with Rosaria and Noel. This is definitely an interesting banner and I wouldn't say this is the greatest banner of all time. Uh, we haven't seen Rosaria in a while. Uh, Noel, everybody has a lot of constellations in Noel. You know, she's free. Gaming was free. Oh, yeah. This is just like an ordinary banner. I feel like not great about. And something else is Furina is also going to be rerunning alongside Seijuin. Now, what I see here is a lot of competition between who should I go for? Should I go for Seijuin? Should I go for Furina? Which would be the best option for me? And obviously we have, you know, the banner for the weapons, which is the best option for me. Now, I could tell you that Furina is one of the greatest characters in the game. And if not, she's one of the top three characters in the game. She is so valuable in so many teams and so easy to build. It's kind of possible for me to recommend anyone other than Furina if she's on a rerun. <laughs> It's insane. I do want to talk about Seijuin as well and where she kind of places in the current, you know, place for Genshin back in the current teams and whatever. Okay. A lot of people are going to, you know, compare Seijuin with the likes of Barbara or Kokomi. And mostly it's going to be Kokomi because that's where her value sort of lies as well. Kokomi, the good thing about Kokomi is she applies a lot of Hydra. She does it off field, she does it on field. You can be a hydro driver, you know, two for electro charge teams for whatever teams that you need hydro in. And that is a massive thing to have for a character like Kokomi because that's where her value comes to play. And she does a lot of healing and she can do a little bit of damage here and there. As Deedreen, mostly is going to be a healing support as well. But where she lacks is her hydro application. You're going to want to think about whether it is the hydro application you want or simply the heal. That is where her value lies. She's going to be an optimal healer. She's going to be excellent at that, specifically that. She does have a specific passive that also allows you to get, you know, some damage bonus to your elemental skill, thanks to, you know, her passive skill for every, H you know, 1000 HP you have above 30,000, you can get a certain amount of damage increase. That is where she's going to be really, really good. So. In some cases, you might want to use Seedreen with Furina, and that and you know that combination would be pretty good. Not only will you be healing as Furina is taking HP, so you get the maximum fanfare that you can possible, but you you know you would actually just have a lot of buffs going together in the same team. So Furina would also you know make use of the buff that Seedreen provides thanks to elemental skill damage bonus. You see where I'm getting at here? They're good together, but you know, separately, I would say that Furina might provide just more out of, you know, the entire kit of Furina, the buffs, the, you can change between the healing and the damage and the application. It's a lot to think about, but I'll try to make it simple. You want the relaxing feeling of not having to worry about healing at all. I would say, go for Seedreen. Seedreen will allow you to have that comfort, easy play style. The, let me just pop my elemental skill and then get out of there. <laughs> that is pretty much what she's going to do. You're going to use your skill, you're going to collect a little bond of life stuff, the source waters on the ground, and then you're going to dip. Simple as that. And you're going to heal over time, which is really, really nice. It gives a little buff to your characters like Fischl, your characters like Urena even, whoever needs that elemental skill damage bonus. That is where you get the most value. Where Fiorina shines is where you want, you know, attack buff. You want, you know, just a massive buffer. That's where Fiorina lies. Comfort over just damage. That's how I see it. And in a lot of cases, they go well together. So at the end of the day, you can't go wrong with whether you want Furina, whether you want Deedreen. That's, that's pretty much the premise. That's pretty much the premise. Okay? If I were to suggest which one to go for, I'd say Furina. Furina just provides more. She's easier to build. Um, actually, they're both pretty easy to build since you only need HP on Seedreen. But she goes in every team and just... Hydro roll itself is just really saturated. That, that's how I see it. You're kind of competing against Shing Cho, against Yelon, against whoever. It's just Hydro itself is very, very competitive right now. And 
I would say Fiorina is just a little bit better than what you know she can provide for most of your teams and yeah that is pretty much all i want to say hopefully you guys got something out of it maybe it answered questions or maybe it left you with more questions and if it did hopefully i'll cover those questions in future videos and stuff like that so yeah uh watch out i'm going to be releasing a video on seedweed every day following her release so i'm going to get a little weapon guide thing i, I would i don't want to call it a guide but it's a weapon overview which weapons would be the best for her. and i want to release the build guide then finally, you know, a release. Uh, I'm gonna do a little something. So yeah, that is going to be it. Thank you for watching. See you guys in the next one very soon.